Welcome to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Prepare the Way by Joe Ingelkemeyer. Today's reading is January the 9th. He's coming again. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Romans 13 verse 11. Back in 1967, as the time for the student week of prayer at Monterey Bay Academy drew near, a group of young people became deeply concerned because so many of their fellow students didn't seem to care about spiritual things. These students searching their own hearts began to seek the Lord most earnestly. Small groups in planning the week of prayer met frequently to pray together. As the week progressed and as the Friday night commitment service drew near, the prayer groups grew larger. On Friday, some of these students, unbeknown to the faculty, also fasted, meeting together to plead with God for an outpouring of His Spirit upon the evening service. As God wonderfully answered those prayers, bringing about a spiritual, sorry, and, and God wonderfully answered those prayers, bringing about a spiritual revival that transformed the whole campus. Two or three months later, some of these youth were presenting a program of testimony and song in very Southern California churches and schools. After a Friday evening Vesper program, as I drove several of them to the homes where they were staying, a senior girl asked, would you like to hear a chorus that has really become popular on our campus? Assured that I would, they began with vibrant enthusiasm. The Lord is coming soon, prepare the way. The Lord is coming soon, O oh, joyful day. Let's move forward hand in hand, mighty youth at God's command, with the everlasting gospel. He's coming again, Christ is coming again, is the joyous and thrilling proclamation with which the chorus concludes. What a message for God's church during this year. Christ is coming, and you can help prepare the way. As a people, we must prepare the way of the Lord under the overruling guidance of the Holy Spirit. Testimonies, Volume 9, page 96. In the words of today's text, it is high time. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Romans 13, verse 11. Key parts on the point is that the, the young people, realized there was a state of or a lessening of spirituality amongst their school as a whole. But a small group took it upon themselves to gather together in prayer. They took it upon themselves to search their hearts. They even went to fasting and praying for revival amongst the entire body. And I believe this is what we need to do right now, today as well. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God, Christ our Savior, our Mediator, our High Priest, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, the Spirit of Truth. We confess that we're sinners, we're mortal, we're feeble, we're clay, we're just dust. But we also thank you, Lord, for such reminders that you send us of this small group of children that are youth that took it upon themselves to claim your promises, to come before your throne and pray and ask you to start with them and to spread this like a fire amongst their school, to let the salt savor, to flavor and season the school. And you answered that prayer. And Lord, we take that as your counsel to us, that right now we look in our church and we can definitely see in the world, but especially right now focusing on our church, we know that spirituality is low that many people have no interest in prayer, many people have no interest in Bible study, many people have no interest in even just coming together. They are simply following, or let's say we are simply following formalism, routine. This is how I ra- this is how I was raised, and so this is what I'm simply doing, because this is what I'm supposed to do. But Lord, let it start with me. Let it start with those who want to join with me. Let us pray. Let's get on our knees and say, Lord, show us what is wrong with us. Lord, search our hearts. Search our inner beings. 
reveal the things that are hindering you from doing your work in us. And Lord, remove it from us. Remove the beam from our eyes so that we can see, so we can point out sin and encourage and preach and give your message, not in a harsh, brutal way, but in love. And even more importantly, just to show through our lifestyle and just our life and our everyday being the glory of you, the working of you in us. Lord, but start with us. Help us to find time for prayer, for small group meetings, for church, prayer meetings, Sabbath school. Also, Lord, help us to find time to cut the world off. Help us to find time for fasting. Said, You said that certain fate would not come to us if not through fasting and prayer. So, Lord, help us to find that time to even cut off even our physical desire for food. Uh, cut off the television. Cut it off all the time. But cut off the television. Cut off all the distractions, and especially fast. I say, Lord, just you and I. Reveal yourself to us that it can spread because we know this is what will happen. It will spread like a wildfire and we will see the work done. But it has to start with us first individually, then collectively getting on our knees and praying for the work to be done with us. So Lord, let this work be done. Start with me. Start with those who want to join me in prayer and let it be started with us. But we pray not for ourselves. We pray for your church to be revived, to be reformed. And we pray for the whole world to receive this message, for to go with power, to go out, to give the world the message so that you can come and reap the harvest. It says the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. So Lord, please help us now to pray for Lord for you to send out laborers into the harvest. And let the first labor be me. Let the first labor be those who are willing. Strengthen us, guide us. We pray this because we know this is your will. So we claim it because it is your will. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you especially for the blood of Christ and Christ who is interceding on our behalf. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.